Mm. Hey, friends, glad you made it. Hi, everybody. Good That's the Forrest Gump way, by the way, if you want. Ah, he's going. Nice. He's on the boat. Anyway, it's the gym. And Dave's. Beer you, brother. Woo! Anyway, you tell us our fourth I'm going to pass out now. <laughs> that is that, to be honest with you. All right, here, uh, we got Raspberry Stout from Hardywood Park Craft Brewery. Nice. They do it's a long alcohol. time. It's a, it's, it's a 9.3 ABV. 9.3 With a 55 IBU. It says here, dark chocolate malt with a hint of raspberry finish like a sweet dessert after a five-star dinner out. And that, and that meant dinner out, not dinner out. Anyway, um, and it's in a bomber bottle. So it's yeah, a lot of booze in there. A lot of booze. So uh, Hardywood Park Craft Brewery. Uh, Dave, it says here, this is part of the reserve series. Right. It said made with heaps of chocolate malt, right? Cacao nibs, nibs, and local late season red raspberries. Raspberries from um, Agroberry Farm. Agroberry Farm. Hardywood Raspberry Stout captures Farm. the essence. The essence of a decadent raspberry truffle it, truffles. in liquid form. No pigs get. I've never form. heard of a raspberry truffle, but you never okay. had a truffle before. A uh, beguiling ale. This stout's oh. enticing cacao cocoa aroma. Cacao, oh, cacao. I'll start that one over. Cacao. <laughs> this stout's enticing cocoa aromatics mm. build to a flavorful crescendo. Cacao. Of full bodied dark chocolate. Right. Now it subsides with a pleasantly sweet tart raspberry jam laced finish. Right. Founders Brewings, uh, Eric and uh, Pat. People are not sleeping yeah. when they're watching our video now, you know. I guess. www.hardywood.com. Hardywood Raspberry Stout. 9.2% ABV. There you go. Dave, you know what? You always pour it. You do this. Oh, he can't open the bottle. He's no boy. It. Oh, all right, fine. Ah, I just wanted to move things along. Slowly I turned. Step, step by, by step. step. Inch by inch. inch. Okay. And I whacked him. I hit him. I smacked him in the air. Boing. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, no, it's hum boing. There you go. Hum boing. Just had to get the hum boing. Okay. Yes, they made in my high school and before high school years, they used to sit behind me and click my ears. And if you ever watch a video, if you ever see pictures of me when I was a kid, my ears were out like this because I was be getting these done. Right, and then they got fat. And, and it hurt. In space. It was the douchebag John Todd that did yeah, that to me. Yeah, John Todd. And then Jim Dudley fell in place afterwards. Well, because I wanted a friend. Yeah, they were they were two thick as thieves, the two of those people. They just loved each other. I was the odd man out in that relationship. But that's okay because we found out what a douchebag John Todd was. Yeah, and they, we uh, both wanted to bang the same chick. He banged her first, and I was just like... Yeah, man, what's up with that? And then I was trying to... But you know what I'm now like? I don't give a crap, because I would never want to do that I was passing anyway. out, and he comes up and starts smacking me in the head, you and I got what? up, and I grabbed him by the collar. I was like, what do I say? Stop! I mean, stop! You know what else? Then? I got it off my chest. And she was he... so insecure, she had to get a boob job. Yep. That was the woman. She had so insecure, she had to get a boob job. Yep. That was the woman you found with, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Trish, sure. Uh, I didn't mention her name. Okay. You did. Oh, I didn't see her name. I don't know if she's insecure, but uh, I remember she you, was because she I had small boobies. Remember the one time boobies. Greg said uh, something about her tiny titties. She, she had got small off, uh, boobies, man. There you go. Never saw them. Never forget her for no. I did. Me, I saw them once. But that's I didn't. Yeah, but she like was passed out. With I didn't the try to. I didn't try to. It was a mistake. I walked in the room and said, "Oops!" and I walked out. Ooh, 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 I got some on my nose, Dave. That's one of the raspberries. Oh, yes, I like that. Here we go. Ready? Cheers. There we go. Raspberry Stout. Well, when was this bottled? I've got people checked in for like 2017 on this. It's not a freaking old beer. Uh, I think this is probably aged uh, maybe well. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the raspberry flavor is probably not as young as it could be. Is there any, 2015 uh, release, buddy. <laughs> this is before I had my knee surgery. This is before my life was changed. So this is very this old is beer. Eight year old beer. So we have to account for that. Oh now, my listen, God. It's when this was old. fresher, I was probably better. Um, Holy crap, oh. I don't imagine 
I didn't realize it was that old. I would get a more of a of a of an oomph into it in the beginning. Yeah, well, you know, got to show respect. Uh, we've had a lot of good Hardywood beers actually. Uh, more in the time when we had uh, a lot of beer club meetings. Um, uh, beer club Joseph meetings. Elia, who was the manager of Camp Pressure Beer Alley at the time, he had these great tastings. Uh, I remember bringing home many Hardy Woods and trying them and liking them a lot. Uh, obviously, I missed out on this one. Maybe I missed that meeting, but uh, it's, it's a good beer, I but it's meeting. definitely aged. I missed the meeting. I missed the meeting. I'm not part of the meeting, so I'm not, not in the click. Uh, I'm not in the click, people. I'm not a clicker. Yeah, honestly, I'm not. Uh, I mean, this is a good stout, Oops, uh, but I think it's just too old. Um, really? It's got raspberry, but raspberry is not dominant. It kind of is fighting a little bit with the chocolatey roasted notes. Mm, yeah, which is weird. I, I kind of hate to do this, but look, it's 5.5 out of 10. Oh, my God. Really? What's the person? What's it? 9.2 ABB mm. with a 40 IBU with a 215. I, I don't get any of the I, mean, I, I love the fact they this, gave a five. Five point five. Five point. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, a uh, five point five. Listen, when this was younger, uh, my friends on the tap gave it an eight out of ten. But uh, yeah, I don't think I think this is too old. It's. Um... I don't. I like it a lot. <laughs> I give it an eight. Oh, there you go. I give it an eight. Good for you. I, really, I like I really it. Really I think you I should give the rest to me. You shouldn't want to use all those unused calories. Well, this is true. But, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's too old. Sorry. You know what? You can have a whole thing. Ah, I like that a lot, yeah, I people. Know, I mean, 5.5, I don't want to waste my calories. On it. That's what I said. You know, he's getting ah. thin. You know, he's losing a lot of weight. He needs to, like, stop eating crap you don't need to eat. So, yeah, there you no, go. I mean, I really drink. want to like this, but it's eight years old at this point. Um... Usually nine point two should be a should good be, thing. Yeah, usually it is, but it just didn't work in this case. I don't have stuff. Like the that uh, raspberries have wound down. <clears throat> Disappointing. Excuse Raspberry me. stout. I like it a lot. So there you have it. Uh, I give it an eight. Eight out of ten from Dave. Five point five out. Oh no no no! Wait wait! It's not a five point five. Then I gotta drink the rest of it. Well, I'll drink your rest of it then. Okay, I'll drink the rest of it then. Okay, there you go. Five All right, five. 4.9. Oh, there you go. Let's I see. I don't want to drink anymore. <laughs> I'll give it right, a minute. Right here, uh, the one we're patient, we got to go beverages. Right, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do stuff. You know, I don't care. I just want to go. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.